Foot odor, Wikipedia audio. Foot odor is a type of body odor that affects the feet of humans and is generally considered to be an unpleasant smell. The main cause is foot sweat. Sweat itself is odorless, however, it creates a beneficial environment for certain bacteria to grow, producing foul-smelling substances. These bacteria are naturally present on our skin as part of the human flora. The front part of the foot is where it produces the most sweat. Therefore, more smell is created with factors causing more sweating, such as wearing closed-toe shoes for many hours. Socks generally do not cause foot odor on their own, but when worn along with shoes, socks can help to trap the hair on the feet, especially on the toes, and may contribute to the odor's intensity by adding increased surface area in which the bacteria can thrive. Given that socks directly contact the feet, their composition can affect foot odor. Polyester and nylon are common synthetic materials used to make socks, but generally provide less ventilation than cotton or wool do when used for the same purpose. Wearing polyester or nylon socks may increase the amount of perspiration because they do not let the feet breathe as well as cotton. This may intensify foot odor, although polyester and nylon can help reduce blisters by keeping the perspiration away from the foot. Many synthetic socks are treated with chemicals to help reduce odor. Causes since the insides of shoes are typically not washed, and since socks also help to absorb perspiration from feet, wearing closed-toe shoes without socks increases the amount of sweat accumulating in shoes, enabling bacteria to grow over time. Bacterial growth is facilitated in this case because closed-toe shoes do not receive adequate air ventilation so the sweat cannot evaporate while the shoe is being worn, in addition to there being no socks to absorb the sweat. Dead skin cells, dirt, and oils can also accumulate in the shoe from the foot over time which can increase odor inside the shoe. Mold and fungus are also more likely to form if socks are not worn which can increase odors and other foot issues. If closed-toe shoes must be worn without socks, the best prevention of foot odor is to slip the shoes off momentarily, at least part way, whenever the feet start to feel hot or sweaty, to allow sweat to evaporate from the feet and shoes. The quality of foot odor is often reported as a thick, cheese-like smell. Some describe the smell like that of malt vinegar. However, it can also be ammonia-like. Brevi bacteria are considered a major cause of foot odor because they ingest dead skin on the feet and, in the process, convert amino acid methionine into methane thiol, which is a colorless gas with a distinctive putrid smell that has a sulfuric aroma. The dead skin that fuels this process is especially common on the soles and between the toes. The brevi bacteria are also what give cheeses such as Limburger, Bel Pace, Port Salad, Palpusta, and Munster their characteristic pungency. Propionic acid is also present in many foot sweat samples. This acid is a breakdown product of amino acids by propioni bacteria, which thrive in the ducts of adolescent and adult sebaceous glands. The similarity in chemical structures between propionic acid and acetic acid, which is a colorless liquid that would share many physical characteristics such as odor, may account for foot odors identified as being vinegar-like. Isovaleric acid is the other source of foot odor and is a result of actions of the bacteria Staphylococcus epidermidis which are also present in several strong cheese types. Other implicated microorganisms include Micrococcaceae, Coronibacterium, and Pityrosporum. Bart Knowles, of Wageningen Agricultural University, the Netherlands, 
received an IG Nobel Prize in 2006 for showing that the female malaria mosquito Anopheles gambi is attracted equally to the smell of Limburger cheese and to the smell of human feet. Fredros Okumu, of the Ifakara Health Institute in Tanzania, received grants in 2009 and 2011 to develop mosquito attractants and traps to combat malaria. He uses a blend of eight chemicals, which is four times more effective than an actual human. Maintaining good foot hygiene is the best way to prevent foot odor as it eliminates odor-causing bacteria and removes dead skin cells as well as sebum. A foot file or pumice stone can be used to remove dead skin cells. Dirty feet and dirty socks, instead of clean, dry socks changed frequently can contribute to odor. Socks that are made of synthetic materials are more prone to becoming smelly than natural or blended fabrics, such as a blend of cotton and polyester. Sodium bicarbonate is used as an inexpensive home remedy for the prevention of foot odor. However, the extent of the antimicrobial effect on the odor-causing bacteria is unclear. A solution of 10% household bleach in 90% water kills the odor-causing bacteria. A brush can be used to clean between the toes. Swabbing feet twice daily with isopropyl alcohol is another home remedy. Some powders and activated charcoal insoles, such as odor eaters, have been developed with the purpose of preventing foot odor by keeping the feet dry. Special cedar soles and socks with silver fibers with antibacterial characteristics are available. Bamboo fabric socks are naturally antimicrobial, antibacterial, and moisture wicking, cutting odor and abating athlete's foot. Odor Qualities Prevention